Okay, I'd like to talk about the Mitsunobu reaction, which can be found on pages 117-118 of Nansen's Rifle, the textbook. And this is a useful way of doing SN2 type reactions uh, on an alcohol and you use uh, uh, an azo dicarboxylate as an agent to activate an alcohol to allow you then to do um, SN2 type processes on that alcohol. So you don't have to convert it to an alkyl halide before you do the SN2 reaction. There are times when you uh, may find that useful. So let me give you an example of this. So if we want to make this alcohol into the corresponding ester, we may have some acid sensitive groups in there. So we want to avoid Fischer esterification. We can use this method that in effect turns this into something like an alpha halide. And then we can have in effect the carboxylate salt of this carboxylic acid come in and do an SN2 and form an ester. So you get a product like that. And this will work with a wide variety of different nucleophiles. I've used carboxylate in this case, but a lot of different ones. Now, I actually mentioned this um, because this is one of the most popular uh, nucleophiles to use. I don't know all the reasons why that's the case. It probably works very well. Um, but you can use azide, you can use all sorts of different nuclear parts. Um, but it's also used um, with this type of system uh, to form an ester, and then you hydrolyze the ester back again. And that may seem a bit pointless, but actually, if you think about the stereochemistry, you can do an inversion. Uh, because this SN2 process will go with inversion of stereochemistry, and uh, at the alcohol carbon, if this were a chiral alcohol, and then when you hydrolyze that, uh, you get the inverted alcohol back. So, uh, <coughs> but let me start by just going through the mechanism of the reaction first. So what do we want to do a typical reaction of this sort, where we have a generic alcohol and a generic carboxylic acid? Now, the alcohol will have to be primary or secondary in order to do this SN2 type process. Uh, we're going to get an ester of the product. So, let me go through uh, the mechanism for that. Okay, so here we see the start of the mechanism. Now, you're probably wondering what this DEAD is. It stands for diethyl azo dicarboxylate, and it has the structure of Kind of like this. Uh, in fact, uh, my old company in England used to manufacture it. Um, <clears throat> and it's a rather curious way of um, synthesizing the structure, but it's fairly cheap to get. It's sort of chemically related to AIBN in some way. <clears throat> uh, but it's prone to uh, sort of Michael type additions. So you can imagine this. I don't have the arrows in my notes, and, but I presume that we have this attacking like this, and putting an N minus on there, and that minus will then go and uh, pull off a proton of the carboxylic acid in the acid base step. This is really just the starting point. We've generated the nucleophile. We've also generated um, a, an activated form of the dead, which will uh, react nicely with, uh, or, or help to activate the ROH. Okay, so this is really just an elaborate way of putting together this uh, phosphonium or alkoxy phosphonium salt. Uh, which is actually quite familiar to me because I did some uh, work in 
in grad school and published a paper on where these kinds of things made a different way, but it's chemically all the same kind of thing. Uh, so this kind of thing is very, um, this is this is a very good leaving group. It can form triphenyl phosphine oxide, which you remember from the Wittig reaction is uh, a very good stable product. So So we get our ester product and triphenyl phosphine oxide. And if we choose to hydrolyze this, we get ROH back again, but the, um, the R center has been inverted. Okay, so let me give you one or two examples of this. So here's a nice example of um, it's an urban reaction forming an ester. And you can see we start with an allylic alcohol here. Uh, with acid, this could be quite labile. I could imagine uh, this could, uh, this center could easily uh, be lost if you're not careful with strong acid. You could form colored cations. You've got this acid sensitive, a sensitive group as well if there's any, anything that could open that acetal. So you can imagine why you might want to be careful. And they want to make an ester with an inverted uh, stereocenter here. So uh, the mitsunobi is perfect for that, and it gives around an 85% yield of this ester. Now, there's also another example in your workbook uh, on page 25, and I'll put that up on the screen next. And that's a nice example taken from Nikolaus uh, total synthesis of vancomycin. I think it's a, a nice example showing how we invert the center. So uh, um, that's a mitsunoma reaction. I've only shown esters being formed here, but uh, there are many different nucleophiles that are used 